Previously on Fallout New Vegas. Slowly but surely, the various devices around the sink had all regained their lost personality discs. Now, Courier 6 sought to finish the job and seek out all their missing upgrades. The search for these holotapes brought the Courier to several hideouts used by both Father Elijah and Christine Royce. Along the way, the Courier also came upon Little Yang Tsi, a pre-war internment camp that ultimately served as a source of human test subjects. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Here we are hanging out in the trenches of ruby gems or whatever these are, power crystals, who the hell knows. But uh, we're about to enter the door to the X-17 meteorological station. However, we aren't going to do it just yet. We are going to do it, but not right now. You see, we missed a little something something back at Lil Yangtze, or that, that's how you pronounce it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, anyway, thanks to, uh, Gen- Oh my god. Thanks to- <laughs> Thanks to general viewer, uh, Logical Fallacy. Hey, let me know. I missed out on a little, uh, terminal up here inside of this, uh, the watchtower here. We must have got- Or I must have got so freaking distracted by- <laughs> By the grisly scene on the, uh, on the floor here that I totally did not even realize- Holy shit, this thing is on! I- I can look at this! Good lord, I was so distracted by this poor dude down here. I was just like, uh, 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 and just looking at these and just like did not even realize the flickering screen. My god, holy shit. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's finally check it out. Oh shit, there is quite a bit in here. Holy wackadoo. Okay. Log entry 01. The government shipped in the first batch of dissidents today. Three whole trainloads of communist infiltrators. Half of them don't even speak English, so we had to show them where to go with our nightsticks. They got the point eventually. The docs are already talking about research subjects. Guess that'll help advance the war effort. Good lord. Alright, log entry two. One of the prisoners who speaks a little English, I guess he's become the unofficial spokesman, came to the commandant's, to the commandant's office today screaming about hungry ghosts snatching his people up in the night. The Commandant told him to give up the ignorant superstitions of a bygone era and had him thrown in the cooler for three weeks. Me? I've seen some of the new robots they're developing here, and I gotta wonder where, they're, where they get the brains from. Jesus Christ. Log Entry 3. Another escape attempt last night. We rounded them all up and processed the escapees. But these little bastards are determined. We've got triple shifts on the camp around the clock, and extra hours are eating up morale. Commandant says he's put in a requisition to use the camp as a field test for the new total pacification collars the scientists have been working on. Maybe then I can get some damn sleep. Shit, fuck me. Alright, let's see. So, let's, uh, let's look at Elijah's stuff here. A little, quite a bit afterwards, all this. Second day at the pre-war concentration camp. Kept China's citizens here before war. Radiation turned them, and to keep them in camp with collars. Explains why some of these slave collars exist. Always wondered. Oh, I like that, huh. I mean, up, <laughs> like, that's real fucked up, but, but I, I like the, that it, it, Puts it on the nose, like, obviously, yeah, that, that must be what they were for, so, eh. Anyway, always wondered. Some were clearly pre-war tech. Researching the color frequencies, touchy. Circuit architecture is messy. Deconstructing them, taking time. Must be careful. Can't be spotted by local robots or insane brains from the dome. Will try to haul me back there. Then, research me. Hmm. All right. Day three. No sign of that courier from before. He stays out of my way. I'll stay out of his. Been thinking about that. Sierra Madre, he mentioned. If he's right, I just need to find the casino radio frequency to track it down. Wouldn't need his help. If the working holograms and toxic gas are preserved there, might be easier to study them there with no robots to interfere. 
and those dispensers might have use for those as well. Or might have use for those as well. All right. Elijah's Journal, Day 4. Day 4, still continuing research. Found way to deactivate collar after some failures. Just a few headless ghouls. It's been hard to go fishing in the camp without one of them trying to run the gate and their heads exploding. Damn collars twitchy. Need to ration the mentats, giving me migraines. Huh. Interesting. I wonder... Because it seems like uh, Dr. Mobius definitely loves his mentats. I wonder if that's just a... If, is that a worldwide side effect of mentats? Like overdosing on them, taking them too long? Like an addiction to them? I wonder. Alright. Uh, addendum to day four. While setting up the radios to monitor dome and robots, thought I saw glint? Scope? From the building on the other side of compound. Should check it out. Make sure I'm not being watched. Might be that courier. Still, he would have come straight up rather than hiding. Instinct says it's someone else. Oh, and we know who that is. We found the, uh, the gun that that scope belonged to. It was Christine's, right? Huh. Pretty fucking interesting shit. It basically, uh, confirms everything that we were able to, uh, draw from, uh, just looking around the context clues. So, well, pretty much, except for, like, Elijah's, like, additional, uh, building of his story and all that stuff there. Still, very good, very good, definitely liking it. Should we, do we need a nap here? How's our, uh, our limbs are A-OK. -okay. But, uh, yeah, I, it really seems like, like, Jesus, our, hmm. The fucking, the, the dudes at the think tank, they're pretty fucked up. Like, yeah, it's, it's all played for laughs, but Jesus Christ, they were the execs. They weren't just some, like, like, random workers here who are just, like, like, being kept in the dark or whatever about all the shit going on. But, like, oh my god, like, human experimenting, just, like, massive amounts of animal cruelty, like, just basically completely, like, fucking over the environment here. They were, like, they were pretty fucked up. You know, like, like, like this, the DLC initially starts with them being like, Haha, look at these funny scientists. Aren't they really funny? Look at them. They're, they're all full of jokes and stuff. Making, that was all slapstick humor and all that. Oh, science. <laughs> funny stuff. But they're actually incredibly fucked up. Like, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Let's see. Let's head on out over here to the meteorological station. Good Lord. It almost makes me wonder if, if, if like, what if, because we know that Dr. Mobius left by choice or something, right? Or was exiled? Maybe it, maybe Dr. Mobius is actually a good guy or some shit? I don't, no, he's, I don't know, maybe he's just a different kind of bad because he's still trying to attack me. I don't know. I don't know, maybe he's also, huh. I don't know, maybe he's also losing his mind or something is what I'm thinking because of all the mentats and he does come on the intercom saying he's forgetful. I don't know. Huh. Man, maybe that... Hmm. I don't know. That might that would make for a pretty good twist. I'd be down with that. Just think about. It. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some holes in that. I haven't thought it out fully through. Just uh, you know, sla slapdash ideas out here. All right. Let's look around in here. Poke around. Let's see what all do we have. Filing cabinet. All that shit. Yeah. Desk. Okay. Anything in here? Fan. Nope. 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 Should we should we grab these cups? Nah. We're we're pretty well off on all that shit. All right. It's quick save. Oh man, look, this shit is still kind of active. Oh, look at that glow. Oh shit, there are some dudes over there. Mr. Gutsy. Jeez. All right. Let's uh, come over here and get ready to take fire. Boom! There we go. Man, one shot him. Good shit. Oh man. All right. Anything else around here? But yeah, the um, the whole like um, the role of the Chinese in uh, the Fallout universe, I've always thought was pretty, pretty fascinating. 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 I don't know. I always thought it was handled pretty pretty well, I think. Pretty pretty good way to, you know, like, sort of go into the old themes of, like, oh, war, war never changes. Hi Fallout highlighting some of the horrors of war for everybody around. All right, let's see. Grab, nah, we'll leave the leather armor there. But yeah, I I say that especially because, uh, uh fun fact, I am actually also... Oh, shit. I'm a quarter Chinese, as it turns out. Oh, shit, this is a named dude. Oh, jeez. Hold up, let's reload here. Did you see that? It, it, it like, got stuck uh, aimed down sights there for a bit. Alright. Let's just... Oh, shit, where the fuck did it go? Oh, God! It came around! Iron Belly. 
All right, let's see. Shoot it in the tracking sensor, or uh, this little doohickey here in the... Oh, God, we can't quite hit the thruster. Oh, there it is. We may as well try and hit it. Oh, look, we did. Or maybe we're actually hitting the uh, the uh, leg, or the arm, I should say. We'll just fire away here. Easy enough. It's it's It did sneak around on us, but it's extremely slow. Oh, shit. Is that another one? Oh, it's a, it's a Mr. Cassidy. All right. I like the, um, their voices, though, from, like, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. It's got to be said. I, I definitely prefer that. I'm surprised they weren't allowed to use, like, uh, the same voice actor or whatever. Oh, well. I guess that's how, like, contracts and shit for voice acting works. So. All right. There you go. Dude must have been relatively expensive. Who'd have thought? All right. Drink up some of these. Energy cell, flame refuel, protonic and versal throwing axe. Oh. Huh. All right, we'll take all those. Because that dude, um, he voices, he does a lot of voice work for, uh, old Bethesda, huh? Yeah, he, he's, like, all over the place in Fallout 4. He voices a shitload of people. In fact, <laughs> maybe too many. But, uh, I don't know. Huh. Weird how that works out, I don't know. W would like to hear the story behind that. Anyway, let's see. Anything else up in here? Scrap metal, turpentine, hammer, we'll leave all that stuff except for the scrap. Taking the cigarettes, more cigarettes, we'll take that. It's Mr. Gutsy, yoinking all that. Let's see. Anything else around here? Pretty big, uh, oh shit, what is this? Did that come from up top or what? What the hell is this? Okay, we'll just take all this shit. Huh. Okay, weird. Let's keep looking around here. So is this like a weather machine? Huh. Is this, um, this must be what's what's partially responsible for the, the cloud at the Sierra Madre, right? That's a, that's a, I can't remember if we were outright told that, or if this is just a really safe conclusion to have drawn by now. Let's see. Pre-war money, empty Nuka-Cola, cigarette pack. All right, hammer, no. Let's see, anything else around here? Got some pre-war money, earnings clipboard, we'll pass on that. Little footlocker, probably, yep, got a lot of ammo, but unfortunately none of the kind that we really like. Still... Always good to have it. Let's see. Let's con let's just keep uh, clearing out this bottom floor before we head upstairs. I think that's a good idea. All right. Anything in this? Plunger, Wonder Glue. What are these big ass barrels, huh? These these might be water, which would make sense for some sort of like weather machine. I don't know how this would even work though. Like once you create weather here, how do you get it out? Hmm. I, I don't know. Let's see. Is this a weather machine? Let's see. What is this specifically called? Just meteorological station. Huh. Okay. Uh, we'll yoink all of that. Let's see. Take some Mentats over here. A wrench. I guess we'll take the scrap electronics. Why not? All right. Let's keep going around the perimeter in here. Have a nice look around. There's a lot of just, like, live electricity. That is dangerous as shit. I mean, I guess you could you could reason that, uh, yeah, they, they have all those suits and stuff for uh, protection. Yeah, and all the gloves and, like, the scrubs and stuff are probably, uh, whatever the opposite is of, uh, you know, they're, they're made to wear, like, basically they're like a Faraday cage or whatever the hell. That makes sense. Oh, shit. It's a little tiny town. Oh, shit, do you think that's, like, an example of, um, oh, gosh, the, uh, oh, God, what's it called? We were just there. The, the little warehouse full of shit. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, there were six houses there. Gosh, I'm really afraid by that. Notice the quick save. Good lord. Look at this! Oh my gosh, it's a little tiny town. For little tiny people. Jeez, can we look inside of these? Could you imagine if there was actually a door on one of these as like an Easter egg? That would be fucking wild. And you could actually go inside of it? That would just blow my fucking mind. It was like a, an access area to like a secret thing. Alright. Anything else here? No, it doesn't look like it. Huh. Okay. I wonder... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with this. I was wondering if maybe they were testing, like, the effects of weather on that little town or something? I have no damn clue. What was this? Oh shit! Snow Globe Big MT! Yo, what?! Hold up, do all the DLCs have this?! You found a limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. This Snow Globe has been added to the collection at the Lucky 38? Oh shit! Have there been ones at the other places? No! Have they? Oh shit, I don't know. Mad scientist scrubs. Oh, okay. Let's see, what do these do? Uh, plus five science, plus one int. Eh, okay. Let's see, uh, got some cigarettes. 
Uh, scrap metal, box of detergent. Let's see, scrap electronics, duct tape, I guess we'll take that. Let's uh, check out this terminal here. Welcome user, begin weather test. Okay, sure. What's gonna happen? Oh, look, it's raining. Oh, look, and there's actually some shit in the uh, fountain now. Huh. Okay. Neat! Are we supposed to do something with this? I don't know. Here, let's quick save again. Oh shit, check it out. Another mark from uh, what's his butt. Where is this? Huh. Is this Big Mountain? I don't know. Is this Big Mountain? This doesn't look like Big Mountain. Does it? If this is Big Mountain, it's an odd part of it. Huh. Oh shit, do you think maybe this is a map of uh, the last DLC? Maybe. What is this? Seems very uh, peculiar and ominous. Huh. Pretty neat. Alright. Let's see. Anything else? Because it is called Lonesome Road and there is... Well, I mean, there's, there's several roads. So maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. But then again, it is kind of a mishmash. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? I don't know. Alright, let's quick save and go out into this. Hopefully we don't get, like, electroshocked. See what the hell happens. Ooh, brace for impact. Ugh, gosh. No, nope, nothing to do with this. Weird. All right. What happens if we end it and start it up again? Will something different happen? Let's try it out. Let's see. End weather test. Oh, look, the fountain is back on. Huh. The fountain wasn't on earlier. Is it going to die out? Doesn't look like it. Now let's turn it back on. Do you think this is this is having an effect on the other place? Do you think maybe the fountain is now starting up there? No. Why would that happen? I don't know. Maybe maybe it would. Maybe we should go back there and check on it. All right. Let's see. Anything else around here before we head into that elevator and stuff? Let's see anything over there? Eh, I don't see anything. No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Anything on top of these that we might need to jump down to access? And like, sort of secret bonus item. Or at least a good bonus item. If it just looks like a... Like a pile of scrap or whatever. Fuck that. We have so much already. We really do not need any more. Okay. Let's uh, check out the local map here. Make sure we've cleared out everything. Oh yeah. Okay, so the, the elevator does not even work? Good lord, I can't even remember. We were just looking at it. It's too distracted by all the gutsies and stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, no, it, it totally works. Oh shit, look, we are up, up here. Huh. Oh fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, so they do have the suits on and all that stuff. Let's see. Let's crouch down here. And... Oh god. Let's get this dude. Right up in our grill. Boom! How do you like that? Oh shit, did we hit the wall? Oh my god. Gotcha! Oh shit, that one over there might be problematic. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's take that dude out first if we can. Actually, let's yeah, fuck him. There we go. Nice. Time to reward myself with a little refreshing mentat. Yeah, I need a reward too after that combat. Mm, nom 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 nom. I want a mentat as well. All right, let's take some caps. Let's see, twenty gauge. All right. Let's see, what kind of uh, weapons were they packing? That one had the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, RCW. Not really something we want to use, but definitely worth hanging on to. Is there like a secret over here? No, okay. Just a little weird little section where you can go up top, huh? Maybe there's something worthwhile here. Maybe. Alright, let's check this dude. A plasma pistol. Eh, it's not very valuable. Especially since I think we shot it. Alright, how about this dude? Let's see, a laser pistol. No. Nah. Okay. Makes sense why they weren't hurting us hardly any. Look at that. The head got blown clean off. I like how when we were shooting at them, although they have, like, the gut, the, like, normal guts kind of jibs, uh, when we were shooting at them, they did actually give off, uh, like, the same effect as if you were shooting at concrete. Alright. Taking in some empty whiskey. Let's see. Anything else around here? Is this a wrench? A toolbox full of scrap metal. We'll take that. Alright. Let's see. We activate this or something, get a drink, get a slurp. Nope. All right. That's fine. Fair enough. Alrighty. Should we pop on down here? 
Maybe. Ugh, let's try and get on that big beam. There we are. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, hell. Oh, fuck. Can we? Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, is this somewhere that we want to be? I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. All right. Good Lord. There's a lot of, uh, platforming around here. And, uh, a lot of it seems like it's just kind of around. <laughs> they really, at, at most, they, they just uh, did, like, quality assurance checking to make sure. All right. Can they get stuck here and never be able to get out? Even with fast travel. And so far, we haven't gotten that badly stuck. So, A plus from me. All right. Let's see. Where do we need to head next? Up and over here for, um, yeah, for the the upgrades, huh? Yeah. I guess we should go to Lil Yangshi and uh, travel from there, right? Because we're way down in the trench, huh? No way we're going to be able to navigate up through this. Oh, shit, do you hear that? Yo. Is that coming from this? Huh. That's not just garbled either. Can you hear that? Huh. Holy shit. Wow. That's definitely saying something. It sounds like it's cutting off, but... It's not super garbled. You can actually kind of make out what they're, what they're sort of saying. Huh. That could be worth looking up. Like, probably someone's already looked at that, uh, like, turned that way up or, like, found the sound files or whatever on the wiki. Maybe it's some sort of Easter egg. They're just saying hot cross buns over and over again. All right. Let's see. Let's head out this way, right? Yeah. Here, do you want to wait until it's daylight out? There is some charm to going around at night, but, uh, I don't know. There's also some value in going around during the day, that way we can more easily see who's trying to blast our ass. Always pretty good. Especially when we're fighting dudes with, like, super-powered brush guns. Which, you know what? Ain't great. It ain't great fighting them. They will really tear us the fuck apart. Let's see. Did we ever check these duffel bags over here? Let me make sure. Ashtray. Oh, shit. I accidentally took the fucking ashtray. <laughs> Alright. Fine. Let's head on over here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Th this big old digging thing. They usually have the big uh, saw on the end to dig up uh, whatever. We, we saw them at the, uh, at the quarry back in the Mojave, right? Time to reward myself with a little refreshing benefit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Anything else up and around here? Let's see. Wooden crate, 308, stim pack, stim pack wonder glue. How about this down here? ECP. And this, a pulse grenade. Okay. Let's see. Jumping on up over this area. Let's see. Anything else around here? Oh, shit. A lot. We can loot all of these? Holy fuck. All right. Damn. This is like a jackpot. All right. Look at this. We're just going to go uh, sort of down every column first. Let's see. Plasma grenade, stim pack. Man, this is great. Jeez, what are all these things doing here? All right. Turpentine. Energy cell. Scrap. I mean, I said earlier that we don't need any more scrap electronics, but fuck it. it it's some woot loot, man. Oh, it must have come off the back of the truck or something, huh? Okay, that makes sense. Let's see, jump around here. Have a little look. We'll do a quick save as well, just in case we fall off the side and die instantly. And there's a little area. Oh, yeah, we've been on that. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, hey! All right, good. Man, how did these uh, containers get up here, though? And oh shit, can we? Oh yeah, there's an invisible wall there, huh? Okay, shit. I guess we aren't going over there. Fair enough. Let's pop up here and just continue toward the marker. Oh, check it out. Some bad dudes. All right. Oh shit. It's Robbie the fucking robot. Construction drone foreman. All right. Easy enough. There we go. Would have been... I, I, I always, uh... I'm like, man, these, these fucking Protectrons are just so damn easy. Even on, like, the highest difficulty and early on, they are really no just not a problem at all to deal with. I was almost expecting this DLC to have one that's, like, souped up and has, like, rocket launchers or something on, the, on their arms instead. There we go. I mean, th that said, these ones have a lot of health. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, get away from me, you freak! Pop you in your little 
your little nibbler down here. Your thruster. Ugh! Yeah! Jesus. Taking a lot of hits, these things. But uh, on the bright side, they are really not able to hit us back here at fucking all. Jeez, I'm Pete. There we go. Here, should we should we swap our weapon? Here, let's try, uh, yeah, let's try Big Daddy here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was wishful thinking, wasn't it? Here. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the explosion is definitely noticeably bigger. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. Take some flamer fuel, too. All right. Anything else around here worth taking? Doesn't look like it. All right. Energy cells, scrap metal. Anything else here? Inside this? Some goodies. Construction site. Uh, okay, maybe they were building, like, another uh, part of the facility. Oh, shit, look at that. It's like I'm playing PUBG, and I'm in the, uh, like, container area of the first map. Oh, gosh. Let's jump up here. And what have you got? Uh, ammo. Okay. And an assless person. That's fine. All right. Let's scarf down a few drink drinks. Let's see. Was down here. Another, uh. Yep. There you go. Eat a butt. Yeah. Ugh. Oh shit. Did you see that? My name showed up for a bit. Did you see that? There was like a split second where Lyle showed up down there at the bottom. I guess from friendly fire. Alright. Shit. Here, we better we better change our weapon <laughs> so we don't blow ourselves up when we're going up here. Alright. Can we go inside of this or anything? Jesus. Oh, look, the lobotomite go- Huh, why did they have that? Oh, well, let's see. Anything else around here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, and that is the roof of the meteorological building. Okay. Huh, I wonder what the, uh, the chip was doing all the way out here in a place where there wasn't really anything being completed yet. Alright, open footlocker, wonder glue will pass. Oh, someone's ass got smashed apart by a big falling rock. A wrench? No thanks. Let's see, anything else up and around here? Any of these hollow? No, it doesn't- oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, my brain cells! Ugh! There we go. Oh, uh, here it is. Next to an assless person. Sink upgrade, water production. Okay. Buff out. Good. Jeez, do we not have another marker? Okay, yeah. There we go. Find all- install the upgrades in the sink. Okay, great. Now, I'm guessing this is going to be the one that's finally going to allow us to fill up our empty bottles with uh, actual good juicy water. Hmm. Weird that this is out here. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. All right. Also interesting, despite all these rare, like, crystals and gems, it doesn't seem like they're trying to dig them up anywhere, right? They're just kind of, like, growing around. Maybe they grew after everybody died. Huh. Yeah, because we haven't seen anywhere that, like, there's a refinery for them or anything like that, have we? Or maybe maybe we just haven't found it yet. But we haven't seen any, like, construction teams, like, trying to dig them up. Huh. I wonder what they're even used in. I'd imagine there's some sort of, uh, crystal using some sort of wacky science fiction sort of, uh, device, right? Huh. I don't know. Weird. Yeah, weird that- yeah, these are everywhere, and we just haven't seen them being used on anything. Bizarre. And there hasn't really been an explanation for them, which is uncommon in New Vegas. I mean, more common in, in other games and stuff, right? You it, you just, like, you know, it's fine. Just do hand-waving and say, like, oh, video game stuff, right? It's no big deal. But it it is appreciated when uh go out of their way to explain stuff. All right. Did we already check these? No, we did not. Uh, 308. Whoop, we took a wrench. That's fine. All righty. Is there anything else up and around here? There is another Pippa over here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, right between, like... Lil Yangshi and the uh, Big MT West Tunnel. Maybe we should investigate this pip real quick before we head back to base. I think that's a good-ass idea. Alright. Let's see. Popping on up over these. Let's see. There's the Hexacrete over there in the distance. Hmm. I wonder if this one has another... Or if it's just that, uh... Huh! Yeah, it's just the one over there. I don't hear anything on this one, do you? No. Oh. Weird. Very bizarre. Knowing me, I'll probably forget to look it up. <laughs> Fuck. 
All right, let's see. Where is this little pip at? Oh, shit. Good lord. All right, let's see. Popping up over here. A lot of just, like, green goo all over the place. Maybe... Hmm. Have we seen anything that's green or red? Maybe this green goo is another thing that, that is being uh, uh, used. Yeah, like, what if... What if the whole point of Big MT being built here was because of those crystals? And it was like a natural resource. Or may maybe it was the idea of it being inside of the mountain was actually the main idea, right? Maybe that was it. Who the hell knows? Oh shit, look, there's actually a shitload of places out here. Maybe we should investigate all of them while we're here, before we forget. The Z43 Innovative Toxins Plant. Well, speaking of the devil, I feel like we're about to figure out some shit. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Yeah, I bet, bet we're about to figure out some shit about the green goo. Alright, let's just kind of, like, uh, run around the perimeter here and see if there's anything worth looking at. Is there any secrets or whatever the hell? Let's see. Can we pop on up top this? Nope. There is a duffel bag, I think? Or a rock. Uh, a duffel bag, yeah. And a box of detergent. Someone whose ass got exploded. Yeah, we've already looked at all that. I think I remember that person with the, uh, big bloody smear for an ass. Let's see, metal box with some cigarettes. We'll take that. More radioactive bullshit. Let's see, here, we may want to pop some Radex beforehand. Let's see. Where's that good, good Radex? There it is. Yoink. Okay, great. Let's head on inside and have a look at what the hell's going on with this uh, green goo. It's probably just like generic radioactive like byproduct or something, right? That's an easy explanation. Let's see, Nuka-Cola Wonder Glue. Oh shit, there's a person here, who's like drinking some flour next to all the radioactive barrels. Okay. Well, let's uh, check out this like radioactive sass. There we go. And anything in here? Pre-war money? Bottle cap, camera. Okay. Huh. Another mark from Ulysses. So far, there doesn't seem to be any reason why he's marked any of these places, right? It just seems kind of like at random? I don't know. Huh. All right. The, uh, Z43 Innovative Toxins Plant. Huh, maybe they aren't a byproduct, yeah? Maybe this is, like, some kind of bioweapon, huh? Which also, another, uh, <laughs> another thing that's usually frowned upon <laughs> when it comes to war, uh, using biological warfare. That's, uh, I don't know, maybe in the, in the Fallout, world of Fallout, that never became a, a big, like, sort of taboo thing. But in the real world, <laughs> that's definitely something... That, uh, is not good. <laughs> Alright, take some duct tape, a cigarette, pre-war money, cigarette carton, let's see, some metal, got some more of that, Nuka-Cola, let's see, more of this shit, camera, pre-war money again, let's see, more cigarettes, take some camera, take some camera. <laughs> Alright, let's see, anything else over this way? More pre-war money, man, we're actually getting a surprising amount of pre-war money in this DLC. All right. Oh, whoops. What is this? A corrosive glove. Huh. Okay. Oh, God! What the fuck? Oh, God, you scared the shit out of me. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Jesus, I think... Yeah, they must have spawned in as soon as I took the fucking glove or something. And they, just, they just walked over here. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. I shit my fucking pants. Good Lord. These scary skeletal men. Fuck you, you assholes. <laughs> oh my god. Here, let's <laughs> let's check out this uh, corrosive glove. Look, critical acid damage. Let's try it out. Let's have some fun with this. Jesus Christ. Oh man. Oh god. Oh god. Maybe we don't want to do this. Maybe they're actually very tough. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going in. We're going in for the kill. I don't know if corrosive damage is going to do much to these dudes, but let's give it a shot. Wow, it is. Is really not doing much. <laughs> oh, there, I think we applied it. Hey, great, great. Now let's swap weapons to actually something more useful. Good God. What is that sound? Oh my God. Jesus Christ, we are really just blowing shit apart. Here we go. Great. Whoa. Man, there are quite a few of them in there. Jesus. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? There's some sort of, like, tech stuff tape there. Alright. There we go. Oh, shit! Leveled up! Hey! Okay. Jeez. Uh, what do we want? 
Who? Let's get, uh, let's just shore up all these other things here. There we go. Well, here, let's get the lower ones first. Bring that to, like, 95. Bring this up. 98. 98. 96. All right. Oh, shit, another perk. Huh. Jeez, uh, what do we want? Gunslinger would probably be pretty damn good for us, huh? Thinking Gunslinger. Let's see. Intimate knowledge of gadgets makes you... Okay. Oh, look, we can make extra explosives. That could be fun. Maybe we should get that. Yeah. I don't actually have much on the, uh... On my planner now. So I'm kind of like, you know... Just kind of just going at freely here. Pack rat might be nice. Could be fun. Let's see. I don't know. Being able to craft some, like, rare-ass shit could be fun. But also, at the same time, we take a lot of drugs, usually. But not not really anymore. Because things are getting easier to where we don't really need to use um, drugs as much as we used to. Certified tech. What does this do? Knowledge of robotic components. No. Nerves of steel. Yeah, that's usually a useful one. Lessons learned. The Wasteland has taught you some hard lessons, but you've remembered them all. Oh, that's a useless one. Okay, voracious reader, spray and pray. Hmm. You know what? Let's go back and get that uh, mad bomber. Let's see. Where did it go? Oh, jeez. Was it, like, super up high? Oh, God. Oh, God. We lost it. Oh, there it is. Woo! All right, great. At workbenches, you have special explosive recipes unlocked for use. Great. We'll try it out. Seems fun! All right, what level are we? We're 46 now, aren't we? Yep. Okay. Good. Let's see. Did we get them all? It looks like it. Great. Ugh. Let's see. Anything here? Scrap electronics as well. Here, maybe we'll take some. Maybe we can make something out of that. Let's see. How about this dude? Got a plasma rifle. That's pretty worthwhile. Human flesh still in there. Ugh. Gross. All right. Some of this. Flamer. Nope. Totally blew that shit way up. How about this dude? A multi rifle. Well, that is definitely valuable. Taking all that. We'll leave the other shit in there. How about this metal box? Cigarette carton. Let's see. Let's swap to our uh, pistol. More cigarettes. All right. We definitely need to hold off on picking up any more shit. All right. Let's see. Oh, look down here. Locker full of caps. Nothing else. Paint gun, turpentine. No thanks. All right, how about in this one? Uh, bottle cap, toy car. Yeah, most of these usually just have junk items in them. There's there's never, like, a point where it's like, oh, shit, some sort of secret-ass treasure. And I guess the idea is that, you know, hey, in this DLC, there's, there's actually reason to be picking up a lot of junk items. What the fuck is going on here, by the way? Caution trip hazard. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? What is, what is the meaning of this? That is, like, the weirdest thing I've ever seen. All right. Let's see. Anything around here? Oh, shit. Look, there is a secret... Oh, man, look. A whole bunch of drained cells. Huh. I wonder if Elijah was back here. Maybe. Let's see. A whole bunch of uh, sass back there stashed away. Anything else back there? No. Some pencils. Drained cells again. Metal box. Oh, yeah. We already looked at those on the other side. How about these? Anything in here? Caps, cigarettes, anything in this locker? Oh shit, some combat armor. Huh. Let's take the combat armor and use it to repair up ours, huh? That's a good idea. Let's see. Desert Ranger combat armor and combat armor. Boom. Nice. Alright. Caps, baton, shot glass, tin, can, okay. Yep. Anything in this shit? Scrap metal. We'll take that. Oh shit, a gauze rifle. Huh. Let's see, can we repair anything up here? Could be worth taking a gauze rifle to sell off if we wanted to. Ooh, definitely not doing that. Let's see, let's repair up the multiplaz. There we go. We have ten units left. There we go. Great. Everything worked out. Alright, anything else over in this? Just some miscellaneous ammo. More drain cells. Alright, I think that's everything. Some more just drained uh, cells all over the damn place. Just littered everywhere. All right. Oh, even some back here. Oh, probably from the explosions, huh? All right. Anything in here? Oh, look. What's this? Hazmat pod security code. Oh! Huh. 
interesting that that would be in here rather than uh, somewhere else, because, you know, you might actually want the hazmat thing in here, because everything is, like, uh, volatile as hell. All right, we'll quick save here. Foot locker full of some miscellaneous ammo. Two big titties right there in the middle. Let's see anything else? Oh, whoops. Sorry, tits. Uh, let's see. Duct tape. Another lab. We can make some... Let's make some stim packs. There we go. Five stims. Because we're actually getting a little low on them, I think, aren't we? Let me just check here. Stim pack 64. Yeah, we're, get we're getting down there. If we ever have, like, an encounter where we just need to spam the shit out of them. Let's see. Anything else? Some caps. Pre-war money again. Let's see. Anything over here? A desk full of bullshit. Let's see. Anything with this? Just some papers. We checked in there. Alright. Oh, can we act interact with that? Nope. Alright. Good. Sure. Let's head on out of here. Uh, let's see. Anything over here? Oh, look. A big-ass axe went flying over here. Yeah, we'll take that. We can hold it. Sure. There's the flamer. All right. Let's see. Anything on this dude? Nope, we already checked it. Fire hose box with nothing. All righty. Let's head on up top. Oh, look, there is a secret stash. All right, we'll have to remember that. We'll check up here before we jump down. Let's see. Anything in the toolbox? Wonder glue, wrench, cigarette pack, clipboard. Let's see. Ooh, look, a terminal that we can actually use. Trying to keep an eagle eye out for all these usable terminals. <laughs> I want it to happen again. I cannot believe that I fucking missed that. <laughs> all right. Terminal. Requisition order chemical suits. Got word today there was a chemical leak at the Sierra Madre. Sinclair was on the phone to ask for more help from the think tank execs. So they're sending him the prototype chemical suits to protect the villa workers. Looks like they're following up an experiment with another experiment? The whole process creeps me out. And the way they're monitoring the Sierra Madre Villa and examining the results? I don't think Sinclair even knows what he's really paid for. To be guineas like the little Yangshi Chinese. Maybe it'd be merciful if war did break out. Put an end to this chain of horrors. Wow, yeah. So even like um, the regular workers here... Um, think like man this this seems pretty fucked up right and we've seen some more of that in, in like the other areas man i'm really thinking like our theory is spot on they're just gonna end up being the bad guys at the end right let's see all this shit here like they maybe they lied to us at the beginning and they just took our brain and shit intentionally as like some sort of wild ass experiment they're like yeah dr mobius did it now go kill him because he did it let's see if we can't oh man was afraid of hitting that thing. Let's see. Vodka? Huh. Alright, cool. But we don't really need it. A greasy toolbox. Hey, our old friend! Old Greasy Joe! Remember? Remember Greasy Joe with his greasy vents and stuff? Oh, good old Greasy Joe. Alright. See if we can't jump on over here. Anything? Do we, we check out everything over here? Anything on this? Let's see, there is something there. Looks like some buff out. Don't really need that. Oh, look, we can actually, yeah, we can get to that from over here. All right, let's pop down, see what we got. Oh, look, someone who actually has their damn ass! Wow, what a rare sight here in Big Mountain. Uh, Nuka-Cola, no thanks. Scrap electronics, oh, a cigarette carton. I thought it was like a toolbox. All right, well, we're just gonna leave that shit. All right, anything else? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Some buff out, we'll take that, yeah. Yep, okay. Full clear. Sure. Well, hold on. Let's uh let's check the map here real quick. Yep, did it all. Doink. And let's head on out. Hmm, yeah, just some little bit of world building there. Thanks to the uh, terminal. Alright, let's head out of this big ass door. Let's see. Any others out and around here? Dyna Lightwave Dynamics Research, testing facility, Saturnite alloy. We checked in the Saturnite alloy, but did we check lightwave stuff? I don't think we did. Huh. Oh, God! ...to reach the big mountain force fields. Doing so could allow dangerous ideas and or creatures having those ideas to escape. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. This is the, uh, the light one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we've ever been inside the light wave research or whatever. Have we? Maybe this is where we got the, um... The emitter from. 
Or at least one of the upgrades. Hold up, what is that? What is that glowing ass thing down there? Oh shit, we're falling off. Oh god, oh god. I wanted to see if that was one of Greasy Joe's treasures. Hold up, we can probably... Okay, no it's not. <laughs> Alright, oh, it's just a weird looking tin can. <laughs> I thought it was some weird glowing sort of thing. I was like, oh my god. What kind of a wild ass treasure have we found? There's a whole bunch of garbage in these garbage cans. What a shock. What a damn treasure. <laughs> Alright. Anything else out and around here? Some hidden mesquite? Oh, Brock flower. Damn it. It's about to, you know, test my agricultural skills of the Mojave here. Put them to the damn test. Alright. Well, let's just pop in inside of this, um, light wave thing real quick and see if there's anything worthwhile. MF. Yeah, I feel like we haven't been in here. We would have checked these unless we missed them. Here, we'll go on in through, uh, this back area. Empty whiskey. Alright, let's quick save. Oh, look. Huh. Maybe the colors mean something? Shit, I don't know. Maybe in the next DLC... Oh, fuck! Oh, these assholes again? Oh, fuck off. Oh, of course they're here. Oh, you motherfuckers. Can I zap them? Can I just zap the shit out of them? Oh, what a fucking ass. What a fucking ass. Oh. Oh, okay, they don't give a shit here. Wow, I can actually collide with them? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was gonna... This would be like the Sierra Madre all over again. I to do some weird shit. Eat a butt! Huh. Can I... Can I punch them? <laughs> they definitely give off a noise. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Anything else around here? Up and around? Oh, look. And we can't carry that. We are too weighed down. Let's see. Anything else around here, though, that is worth taking or looking at? Oh, shit. There is something over there. Look at that. It's like some cigarettes. Not really worth taking. But we'll go over there and look inside of the uh, toolbox. Let's see. Scrap electronics. No thanks. Duct tape. More scrap electronics. Gosh, there is so much scrap electronics just hidden around everywhere. So many, so much. Alright, metal box full of caps and bullets. Alright, let's pop on down here. And yeah, we definitely have not been in here. Alright, some caps. And just in case you weren't aware of what the fuck was going on, got the Sierra Madre poster up there. Then again, I guess that's a pretty good, like... <laughs> like, not only is it, is it an ad that works in-game, but imagine if someone did not buy the first DLC, and they saw that and were like, Oh man, maybe I should get it. Maybe I should fucking get it. That's pretty, uh, pretty clever. Alright. See, anything else up and around here? Gosh, can we turn off our light? Oh, shit! Who is this? Is this Vera Keys? Who is this? Maybe it's one of the scientists. Maybe it's, like, Dollar or someone? Take some Mentats. Alright. Huh. Interesting. Alright, anything else up and around here? Oh, shit, look at that. Whoa. Whoa, dude, what is going on there? See, can we uh, activate something here? Requisition order holograms. If it wasn't for Sinclair's request, this hologram project would have been canned long ago. In addition to the dispenser tech he wants for the Sierra Madre, he spoke to the big MT execs about using the holograms for defense. That's something NE, NE would have to sign off on. I can't even imagine the cost to turn the holograms into something beyond walking cameras and greeters. And why would you? It's only been a little while, and I already hate spending my time with these ghosts walking around the plant. Rather see the research money spent on actually improving the field of view sensors or adding upgrades to the emitters. Hmm. I love that. So that also explains why they were so, like, why, they, why despite being able to, like, kill us, they, they were pretty pitiful when it came to, like, we could just sort of sneak around them, for the most part, easily, right? And they, their line of, their, like, uh, their distance from which they could see and all that stuff. So they just, that they, they was originally planned, but it got canned because uh, Sinclair started pumping money into having uh, other shit done. Vera Keys Hologram Progress Report. Spending a lot of hours getting the Vera Keys hologram looking right. Oh, right, hence the picture. I'm a physicist, not a sculptor. <laughs> Fucking... McCoy over here, iterating on her facial features and her dress to match Sinclair's expectations. It's about enough to make me file a complaint. I don't get it. 
I don't get the sense Sinclair's doing this out of love or, well, lust. Uh, any Somewhere along the line, he became cold about the whole matter, as if crafting the hologram just right was something he hated. Oh. Okay, so we, kn we know how all that worked out. All right. Man, they, they put up a lot of posters in here. All right, tool cabinet, wrench. It's fine. Anything in this? Scrap electronics, paint gun. All right, and can we... Oh, God. Oh, shit! Valence Radi Accentuator. Huh. Another one of those. Huh. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! What's happening to me? Oh, God! Something's happening! Huh? What the fuck was that? Yo, I went into it and some weird shit happened. What? What happened? Oh, God. Did you see that? Like, time passed or something because I got a new charge of, uh, implant GRX. Hold up, let's, let's look at this. Oh, no, wait, yeah, that's the same damn thing. Apparently, also, I forgot everything that happened in real life. Let's see, if we go on this, anything else gonna happen? Yeah, what is this? Why am I, like, tripping balls here? Oh, God. Oh, God, man. Is there something up there? Shit, dude, I don't know. Am I, like, blue or something? Have I turned into one? No? I look fine. Damn, I look fine. <laughs> Alright, anything in this? Some sass, we can't take that. Take a few caps. All right. Pop it around here. Look around. Anything? No, I think we fully cleared out this area. Oh, look. Did we check this before? Yeah, we did. Like I said, I, I lost my mind as well when I jumped into that. All right. And this leads us right back out front. All right, before we head out, though, I want to look up top at that uh, blue emitter and see if there's anything up there. Maybe if we jump into it, maybe something will happen then, too. Who the hell knows? Let's find out. Let's see. Oh, can we activate this? Oh shit, look! Recipes, energy weapons, skill book. Well, holy shit, good thing we came up here. I mean, I guess we don't really need it, but still, feels nice to get the whole collection done and all that. Alright, let's... Oh! Oh god, fuck! Oh great, now I'm stuck in this. Oh god. Jeez! Man, how many days have we just passed walking into that damn thing? Alright! Well, holy crap! I suppose when next... Oh, look, yeah. Time definitely changes a shitload. More than just 24 hours. Or less than, I should say. Are you out there, my little teddy bear in the bottom right? Darling, this is you. And the pit of hatter of your penis feet so much. Man, she really wants my penis feet real bad. All right. Well, when next we come back, I guess we'll continue looking around here. Let's see. We've still got, like, yeah, one more pip over there. To check out. We may as well do that when we're in the area. Oh, yeah, look. It's like a... Oh, that's where the big howitzers are. We never actually went up to them. Huh. Alright, that'll be fun to check out. Yeah, maybe we'll find some sort of new cannon. Some new sort of, like, rocket launcher or something. That'd be fun. Or a missile launcher, I, sh I should say. Or, hey, maybe we'll find an actual rocket launcher. Because apparently, uh, we have rockets, but no launcher, right? Or maybe it'll be something else, like a... Some something else that fires rockets. But I'm assuming rocket launcher. Makes sense, right? Alright. Till next time, peace.